representing one of the most significant military innovations of the Human Covenant War. The YSS-1000 Sabre Planetary Defense Fighter was designed as part of a highly classified inner colony experimental defense program. The purpose of this program was to create an extremely advanced combat fighter that could be deployed into orbit via a staged vertical launch from a ground-based silo, thereby allowing a UNSC colony to feel the last-ditch wave of defense craft, even if all standard orbital defenses and carrier facilities had been destroyed or routed. At a length of 24.6 meters and a wingspan of 18.9 meters, the Sabre succeeds in refining the functionality of a short-range interceptor into a far smaller frame than previously achieved by the UNSC Longsword. The fighter is normally crewed by a single pilot, but can be loaded with a secondary radar intercept officer to manage the ship's high-fidelity scanning and range-finding suites. The ship's impressive acceleration and combat agility are achieved via four high-power sublight thrusters, each equipped with short-fuse afterburners for bursts of increased speed. The fighter is armed with a pair of forward-facing M1024 30mm machine-linked autocannons, supplemented by a pair of Salvo Fire ST Medusa aspect-seeking missile pods. Using both of these weapons in conjunction, a skilled Sabre pilot is able to strip away the defences of a Covenant fighter before delivering a killing blow using the missile system. This approach provides a much-needed equaliser for the UNSC when facing the far more advanced combat spacecraft in use by the Covenant fleet, but it is an advantage that can be quickly lost should either of these weapon systems suffer disabling damage, as both the autocannons and missiles are extremely ineffective when employed in isolation against shielded targets. The Sabre was the first human spacecraft in history to be equipped with functioning energy shields, an extremely new technology still being slowly reverse-engineered from captured Covenant equipment. The ship carries a layer of energy shielding across its entire surface, which provides a limited barrier against hostile fire before the ship's hull is exposed to harm. These shields can be recharged fairly swiftly, given an uninterrupted break from any impacts, but can be disabled completely should any damage be suffered by the fighter's shield projection systems. The staged launch system used to deploy the Sabre into space from its surface-based launch facilities was almost identical to those used centuries earlier in the first days of space travel. A cluster of seven solid-fuel booster rockets are stacked beneath the fighter in a vertical orientation and used in conjunction to carry the Sabre into low orbit without the use of conventional fusion engines. Upon reaching the desired altitude, the booster sections are jettisoned and the Sabre's main engines activate. The fighter is fully capable of defending itself and engaging in complex manoeuvres within seconds of reaching orbit. Following its introduction and distinguished service during the Maymore insurrection, the decision was made to extend the Sabre's role beyond planetary defence and begin adopting the craft as the mainstay combat interceptor of the UNSC fleet. Unfortunately, these plans had to be aborted following the catastrophic Battle of Reach, where almost all of the research and development facilities working on the Sabre project were left by planetary glassing, with a significant number of the ships themselves being destroyed in combat or abandoned following their impressive performance in Operation Uppercut. Despite the ship's premature discontinuation, the YSS-1000 Sabre still represented a crucial turning point in military technology during the Human Covenant War. The numerous experimental technologies tested on the fighter were slowly distributed across the UNSC, with the fighter's shield technology eventually finding itself installed on the mainline longsword fighters and shortsword bombers of the UNSC fleet. Easily the strongest evidence of the Sabre's legacy can be seen in the F-41 Broadsword Strike Fighter, a shielded multi-role fighter introduced later in the conflict, whose design draws significant inspiration from the Sabre. Thank you for watching Space Doc. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please do check out the links on the screen right now or in the description below for our Patreon and channel membership services. Anything you can pledge goes towards improving our team and our equipment and allowing us to put together bigger and more exciting video projects for you guys on the channel.